A lot about traffic there. Let's talk more about it today on Growing Idaho, part one of a special two part edition of Transportation Tuesdays. Ada County's population is up 32% from 2010. Canyon County's population up 29% in that same time. More people in the Treasure Valley means more cars on the road and worse traffic. And that traffic is not only affecting your patients, it's also affecting your bottom line and your safety. Ah, uh, traffic. It's just the worst. And it's getting worse as the valley grows. Traffic has always been a bit of an issue. Sarah Larson is a senior branch office manager for Edward Jones in Meridian, and she commutes from Caldwell. She budgets about 45 minutes to get there, but many days that is not nearly enough. Sometimes at least one to two days a week the, due to accident, the commute will expand to an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half. Sarah remembers a time when you could buzz all around the valley, even during rush hours. I've definitely noticed a, a dramatic change, uh, having been a driver for, dare I say, three decades now. <laughs> Um, I used to, I, I feel like you used to be able to get anywhere in town in the course of 20 to 30 minutes, and that is absolutely no longer the case. Sarah is not alone. Everyone who has lived here for a decent length of time has seen their commute get longer and more headache inducing. A local study shows the average commute from Caldwell to downtown Boise went from 35 minutes in 2010 to 39 minutes in 2018. The numbers are not necessarily staggering, but they do continue to grow. The Treasure Valley is becoming a modern metropolitan region. Stephen Peterson is an associate clinical professor of economics at the University of Idaho. He says traffic is more than just a major inconvenience. It's a drain on the economy. Traffic congestion and inadequate roads. I think you can easily do assessments to show it costs jobs as well. We don't have those local numbers, but in a recent book from engineer and historian Henry Petrosky, he claims traffic delays cost the entire U.S. economy over $120 billion annually. A chunk of that is definitely felt here in Idaho. But our increased traffic is costing Idahoans more than just jobs and money. We place their safety as they drive on Idaho roadways as top value. Captain Matt Sly and everyone with Idaho State Police are working nonstop to keep people safe on Idaho's highways, and it's getting much tougher as the population expands. There's been an increase in speed, um, impairment, and uh, distracted driving as well. But there is one thing that's declining, the number of mistakes you can make behind the wheel without getting into an accident. There's a smaller margin of error for a lot of people because you have that many um, vehicles on the roadway. A decade ago, there were just over 6,100 crashes in Ada County. That went up to 6,600 by last year. In Canyon County, the spike in crashes was even more dramatic, going from about 2,700 to more than 4,200 by last year. That's a more than 50% increase in a decade. Captain Sly says some of the most serious crashes weren't even on the busiest stretch of road in the valley, the interstate. They were on secondary roads like highways 2026 and 44. That's why ISP is working with local agencies a lot more to just try to keep up and keep the roads safer. Because if we're expecting one agency to do it, it's too much to do and we have to be able to do this together. So traffic has gotten worse and worse, but is there any chance it could get better? Experts say no. We're anticipating that there's going to be a 67% increase in the traffic volume that we're having by the year 2050. Matt Stahl is the executive director of Compass, the Community Planning Association of Southwest Idaho. It's a group of local governments working together to plan for the future of the Treasure Valley. We are sitting at about 900,000 people living in Ada and Canyon counties right now. They expect that to grow to 1.3 million by 2050. Right now, we take about 1.8 million passenger vehicle trips every single weekday in those two counties. That number balloons to 3 million trips every weekday in 2050. Your commute is going to get worse than what it currently is. Um, and we're all frustrated right now with how the, the commute is currently.
So we're looking at more headaches for drivers, a bigger drain on the economy and more dangerous roads. Is there anything we can do to help make traffic better? Does anyone have a plan to help? Compass does. I'll tell you what that plan is next week, if they're making any progress on it and the major hurdle they're facing on getting it all done.